What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be reviewing and installing the carbon fiber duckbill spoiler for the Alfa Romeo Giulia that I recently got from ahacarbon.net. In this video we're going to be doing a retailer review and we're going to have a look at some product competitors and do some pricing comparison as well. And then we'll jump into the prep and install for the product itself. But before we do all that, if you could do me a favor and hit that like button for me and subscribe to the channel as well. This is a new growing channel and your support will help me out tremendously and I would greatly appreciate it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and have a look at the retailer ahacarbon.net and pull up their website. So here we have the ahacarbon.net homepage. So you can see right off the bat, there's a lot of different vehicles that they offer carbon fiber parts for, you know, from Audi, BMW, etc. You don't see off right off hand, uh, Alfa Romeo anywhere up there, but they actually have our cars, Alfa Romeo under luxury cars right there, along with Ferrari, Lamborghini, Maserati, Jaguar. We got Alfa Romeo in there, but let's go ahead and click on Julia and have a look. So here is their page. Uh, you can see they have all these different options. And if you click on whatever, you know, product you want to look at, they'll have some different pictures for you to kind of look at the product. This is the product that I got here. The carbon fiber rear trunk spoiler boot wing lip. Uh, this is the one. Now you can see there are the different pictures here that they show uh, of the product that you'll receive. Now one thing to note is it looks like they're probably using some images from another competitor most likely because the ones that they have pictured actually primarily here is not the one that you receive. Uh, so on this red Julia that they're showing, this one, as you can see from my little hand to mouse, um, is just a smooth bottom that just conforms to your trunk lid. That is not what you get. You actually get this one, where it has that little indention at the bottom, which I was perfectly fine with. So I found that out when I got it, and I like how it looks. It, it kind of gives it a more aggressive look from behind. So I'm happy with it. There's kind of another view of it. And you'll see it when I uh, get to that, that portion of the install and actual review of the, the spoiler itself. But I, I, I kind of like it. So one thing to mention is that when I first ordered this, uh, I believe it was towards the beginning of November um, or like middle November when I ordered it, they did not have this shipping within the US option for this product. I believe some of their others did, but not this one in particular, but it looks like that's available now. So if you click on that option, it looks like they'll ship it from within the US, which is great. You'll get faster delivery because one of my only gripes from ordering from ahacarbon.net and having it shipped from China was that I had to wait a little more than a month to receive the product, which isn't horrible, but just in the day and age of Amazon where we're used to getting everything same day or next day, heck, you know, we'll probably even be fine waiting a week, waiting a little more than a month for something isn't always the greatest, but it is still nice. Once it finally arrives at your door and then you're able to install the product, it kind of adds to that anticipation. So yeah, if you do decide to order this and hopefully you, you'll also have that option of shipping within the U S now, as far as pricing goes, it ha they have it listed here for retail price, 209.99 on sale for 199.99 save $10. When I ordered it, uh, my subtotal was $153.42. And that was with a discount that they applied on the website. By the way, if you're ordering from here, if you pull this up on your phone or on, you know, your computer, there's a little prize wheel that'll show up for you to where you can enter your email address and spin to win. Um, there's a, a few different coupons that you can get. It looks like there's a $20 off, $50 off. I believe mine was a percentage off. It was either 10 or 20%. I'm not going to do the math right now, but you can do that. Maybe you'll get the $50 off and get really lucky. And that'd be awesome. You can get the ring for super cheap. Now for this, this, uh, spin wheel, it seems like you can spin it multiple times. Now, when you enter your email address, initially you spin it, it's going to give you the coupon code for whatever you want. And you just enter that at checkout. Uh, whenever you revisit the website, it gives you the option to spin the wheel again. So you could more than likely probably just enter a different email address, spin it, 
and try for that $50 off, you know, it's probably going to be hard to get, but you can try it, enter some different emails, try your luck. <laughs> so yeah, my subtotal was 153.42 and with my shipping from China, it was $45. Uh, so my grand total for this wing was $198.42, which isn't too bad. You know, I was, I was happy to pay that for this kind of product. So they advertise that it's resin UV protective, this specular paint, uh, 3K carbon fiber, special automotive gum. So it, it does have the adhesive strips pre-installed on it, on the back of it. Um, but we'll come to that at a later point. We'll, we'll discuss a little bit more. Heat proof, waterproof, precision cutting with gum. Uh, when I got it, it was a perfect fit, so I'm happy with it. But let's kind of jump over and look at one of the competitors that you can also take into consideration. This is Agency Auto Works. They also sell carbon fiber parts for the Julia. Now their website is in the same style, so they're, I'm not sure if they're probably getting their carbon fiber from the same place. They probably are. You yeah, know, this is another option. I believe they ship within the US as well. You'll likely get your stuff a lot quicker, but I've also heard some really great reviews from products ordered from Agency Auto Works. And one of those reviews was from uh, underscore fast alpha on YouTube. He's got some great videos. I just enjoy his content and he's helped inform my decisioning process when it comes to the Alfa Romeo Giulia. This is actually his uh, car featured here for this, this carbon fiber front lip for the Giulia. And he's actually got an awesome setup. Check him out. He's got some great videos. This is the, the carbon fiber duckbill spoiler that you can get from them. Now, unlike AHA Carbon, the photos on here don't appear to contradict themselves, whereas they don't show different styles. All of theirs appear to be this flat style at the bottom without that indention in the middle, which I think also looks really good. Um, I did get the one with the indention in it from AHA Carbon. And I still really like it. I think it kind of adds an aggressive flair to it. But whichever kind of floats your boat, go, go with that. Theirs is advertised right now on sale at $274.99 USD. I did go ahead and enter my information. And I just took a snippet of it because it had my, my shipping info on there. Uh, but I just took an info of the pricing. I live in Florida in the US. So if you're ordering this from somewhere else, your shipping may be different. Might be the same. Who knows but subtotal was 274.99 shipping 19.99 taxes 22.10 and total 317.10 so a lot more than the 198.42 i had to pay for mine but who knows maybe they do have ultimately better quality at face value for the product i received and installed i'm happy with it from aha carbon so i may end up ordering more stuff from them in the future um, there probably are going to be some items that I end up ordering from Agency Auto Works as well, again, since I've heard good things about them. And then lastly, there's probably some others you can look at as well if you do some researching, but a lot of people like to order from eBay and they do a lot of the car part ordering from there. I never really have personally, you know, other people have, and they've had a good experience with it. So you can check them out and you can just see right off the bat, they have some decent pricing for these duckbill spoilers for the Julia. 155.99 free shipping, 164.99, you know, just presenting it to you. So that way you can take it into consideration again, to better help your decision process when it comes to ordering carbon fiber parts for your car. And with all that being covered, let's go ahead and jump into the actual prep and install process and review of the, the spoiler that I got from AhaCarbon.net. So stick around for that. This is the carbon fiber duckbill spoiler I received from AHA Carbon. It came really well packaged. It's unwrapped here, but it did have layers of bubble wrap and foam wrap around it inside the box, so no concerns there. The Julia did have a bit of dirt film built up on it, and we definitely want to have a clean surface before the install, so we'll want to ensure the car is as clean as possible before we apply the spoiler so that our adhesive tape can effectively stick to the car. We just paid a lot of money for what we ordered, and we wouldn't want it flying off behind us on the freeway.
So coming back to that point about not having your shiny new piece of carbon fiber fly off on the freeway, the spoiler for Maha Carbon does come with double-sided adhesive strips pre-installed. Although the quality of the product seems to be great, I'm not quite ready to trust these thin adhesive strips they provided. Instead, I decided to remove the inside piece and replace it with a strip of heavy-duty Gorilla double-sided mounting tape. This combined with what they provided should be more than enough sticking power for what we need. Finally, to begin the installation of the spoiler, you want to make sure you have the alignment in mind before you remove the adhesive coverings and place it onto your car. The fitment for this product, from Aha Carbon, was near perfect, so there wasn't much room for error, but you can use painter's tape to help guide your placement if needed. Once you're comfortable with that, remove the smaller adhesive coverings. For the bigger piece, remove about 4-5 to five inches worth from one end and let it hang off. The smaller pieces of tape will help keep it stationary along with some pressure from your hand while you peel the larger adhesive covering off to complete the installation. Continue to apply pressure at all points of contact for about 30 to 60 seconds to ensure the tape is firmly in place. Last but not least, give it a good wiggle, slap it, and say, that's not going nowhere. For good luck and good measure. If you made it this far in the video, thanks for sticking around. Don't forget to hit that like button for me if this helped you out, and subscribe if you want to see more. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions or concerns, and I'll do my best to help. With that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the next one.